right, over Uni Builder, March 4th, 2016. Well, I've dusted off the old lensless generator just to show you that it's still here, still works. And it's all set up, ready to go. I'll turn on my speed indicator here. I'm going to leave it like that. All right. Let's see if I turn this light off, maybe. Alright. So, what I've got here is a multi voltage. Oh, let's turn this back on. Multi voltage transformer. Currently, it's in the off position. First position is 3 volts, then 4.5, then 6, and 7.5, 9, and 12. So we'll go to the first position first, the 3 volt, then we'll go to 4.5, and, and I'll tell you when. Anyway, here's the motor hooked up, powered, little rubber band. Actually, it's a one of these uh, one of these things you get for these pulleys you can buy for RC hobbies. Anyway, for you people who have never seen something like this, this is uh, two ring magnets on each end here. I mean, well, let's turn the, keep the power off for now. Anyway, and two ends, magnets, coils in the middle that don't move. Moving parts are some inductors between the magnets and the coils. <coughs> you can go to overunitybuilder.com and look at my website uh, if you want to see the explanation of how it works. But, to show you it still works, let's... There. Spinning it by hand gets the lights to light up here. And all right, now while oh, it's still spinning here, we'll flip on the power, the three volts. Let's go all the way to four and a half. And see, we get a pretty good, pretty good light show. Oh, wait a minute, let's put these things here. There we go. Somebody's, somebody's uh, hooked up right here. Thirteen point two, fourteen. So it's still the gain speed. I've got my speed pickup right there. Little magnet on the axle. The axle is a axle from an old old printer. The bearings are from the same printer, so actually they work pretty good. Coils are, oh, I think they're 18 gauge wire wrapped around some uh, four inch diameter, four inch long, uh, three eighths inch uh, <coughs> uh, what do they call it? 
call it bolts. <laughs> Anyway, that's all it's making spin there is that small motor with a little belt. Yeah, we are in the four and a half volt speed uh, voltage there. Let's kick her up to six volts. Yeah, let's see. A speed there. 15.7, or 15, not 52. All right. So it'll let it speed up for a little bit. Let's check our how our lights are doing here. Now there's a. 200 LEDs. They're all like two, two and a half volt LEDs. I measure the voltage runs at about. I'll put uh, and uh, running at six volts. The speed when it gets speed gets up. Up to around here, 17 or so. It's but now 2.6 volts out of the generator, and I figure it takes about 10 milliamps to light a one of these little LEDs. So 100 to 200 times 10 milliamps. That's two amps. Yeah, 2.6 volts, roughly 5 watts. And <coughs> previous measurements shown that this motor draws about 0.3 amps when it's running like this at 6 volts. 1.8 watts running this. You know, turn this light back on. Let's see if that helps. Anyway, this thing has survived for many years. About well, nine years now, I think. That's about the maximum speed. Yeah. I think the highest that's the highest voltage I can run this motor on too without burning it out is six volts. So I don't dare put any more on that. But it's spinning along pretty good. The faster you run this thing, the more voltage it should put out. But you gotta find a motor to run, turn faster than this. You know. It'll fit this and everything. So, just to let you know, this thing still works. It's been replicated, verified. So, well, I probably should have used uh, smaller gauge wire to get a higher voltage. But I think I'm going to try putting it on a transformer and see what comes up with that. So maybe that's the next video then. All right, for now, overunitybuilder.com signing off for March 4th, 2016.